I want to convey to the people of India that for the sake of humanity, peace and progress in the region, they need to understand the truth and reality of Kashmir and play their role with regard to resolving this uh, political issue. Uh, Kashmir issue is not about governance or giving economic packages, neither is about uh, you know, uh, economic incentives. Uh, you have to understand the fact that today the youth of Kashmir are dying on the streets, not asking for jobs and perks. So what is the actual problem? What is the actual issue? Uh, it is the issue of uh, the people's right, the right, uh, the, their basic right, the, uh, the right to self-determination. And let me say that tomorrow is uh, 13th of July. It marks 85 years of, us, of the struggle of uh, uh, the people of Kashmir. Uh, our fifth generation uh, now uh, has, has vehemently joined the journey for freedom. And uh, they are offering sacrifices and they are giving up their lives today. So let it be understood that no amount of force or, or, or military might or repression will uh, deter them, as it is clear for the past uh, more than 70 years. And what is sad is that the uh, aggressive posturing and approach of the current uh, Indian dispensation with regard to uh, Kashmiri people has greatly led to the current deteriorating situation here. And can, this can lead to a catastrophic uh, consequences for the, for the whole region. The sending of uh, more troops, which the government has decided uh, to, to send more troops to the valley and giving them more powers, giving them full powers to deal sternly with the local populace will definitely add uh, fuel to the fire uh, as, it, as uh, it will be greatly resisted uh, by the people as far as um, they are on the streets are concerned. Um, the only way out of uh, this problem is, is to address the problem politically, not militarily. And it